Hi, I just wanted to discuss my solar home solar monitoring systems because now I've actually got no less than four solar monitoring <laughs> systems. It's like you think test equipment anonymous is a thing. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Once you have a solar system, the solar analytics um, side of things. Um, I just wanted to show you like explain how I ended up with four different solar monitoring systems, um, which is crazy. So I wanted to sh just <laughs> show you all four because I recently installed the Zappi electric uh, charger. Of course, I've done a video on that. And um, yeah, I've got <laughs> a yet another monitoring uh, system with that. So as you know, I've got, so how this happened, I've got two um, separate solar systems on my roof. I've got my original three kilowatt system, which I installed like eight plus uh, years ago, which goes into a Sunny Boy uh, inverter. And that actually uh, goes into, so that's a like a standalone inverter, but it's got Bluetooth interface. And I've got a phone on my, um, I've got an app on my phone that allows me to bulk download that data. And then I upload it to uh, pvoutput.org. So it's not a live, uh, data system. So this was the first sort of like analytics um, system that I actually had was uh, PV output. It's it's very popular here in Australia and I'm not sure about overseas. But anyway, I've been putting data into this for like eight years or something like that. Um, mostly continuous, but because it's a bulk, I don't have a way to order. I used to have a way to automate it. Um, used to have a program on a PC that automated, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's broken. It's a, um, so I now just batch upload whenever. So you can see that last time I uploaded was the 28th of uh, November. So I just bulk upload this, but I've got data going back years. In fact, can I ye can I yearly data this thing? Yeah, going back to 2013. There it is. So, um, and I think there was downtime and one time it was broken and I didn't realize and it wasn't updating and stuff. But yeah, I've been doing that uh, for a long time. So I've kept that as a separate uh, system. Now, of course, a couple of years after that, um, yeah, I think it was 2015, 2016 or something, I had the solar analytics uh, system installed. I've also done a video on that. They contacted me and said, hey, we've got this cool product. Would you like to, you know, um, like us to install it? And, you know, ordinarily I, I was happy with the uh, existing PV output um, type system and the Bluetooth uh, from the SMA Sunny Boy inverter and stuff. So, you know, but anyway, um, they offered to install this and it's been very cool. It's um, my primary tool uh, that I want to use if I want to really analyze the data because it's actually very good and you can see actually today You can see overnight here. You can see these ripples here as the uh, fridges turn off and on um, And we've got two fridges So I think maybe both of them turned on here in the middle of the night and so the yellow one is the um, Is how much we're solar we're actually producing from both systems now the thing with the solar analytic system is I've got this tied into both my existing three kilowatt system and my new five kilowatt uh, N phase system. So I, I think I've done a video on that, how I combine the current transformers. So this is actually total production from my entire solar array. Um, so this is why this system's good because it captures the entire, it captures both solar um, systems that I actually uh, have. And you can see that uh, I plugged in the uh, EV uh, this morning and in um, Eco++ Plus Plus mode with my new uh, Zappy or Eco++, Plus, but it has two little leaves, so everyone calls it Eco++. Plus Plus. Um, just sounds cooler. And you can see how it tracks, how the consumption absolutely tracks my uh, solar output, because that's what the Zappy charger is designed to do. It's supposed to put 100% of the solar into your car, minus whatever your house is taking. Um, and I've got with my new Zappy charger, here we go, I do actually have a new system. Can I, hang on, I'll show you this here. I've got another camera, but it doesn't show up very well. Um, it's it's crap. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah, it doesn't focus properly, but that's okay. It's better than holding it up to the other camera. And so I've got a new current transformer um, installed on my Zappi uh, charger, and I've got the hub now. The My Energy, my energy um, saw my video, they took pity on me that I didn't have a hub and I couldn't update my firmware, so they sent me a hub. Thank you, My Energy. Um, because my bloody 
Zappy charger didn't come with the latest firmware from the local dealer that I bought it from. So yeah, it was like four versions behind. You can't update the firmware unless you have the hub. It's it's kind of dumb. But anyway, um, so it now has internet access. So I now have another way to monitor this data. And you can see that uh, solar production is 1.9 kilowatts there. And if we go to live data on solar analytics, you can see there it is 1.9, 1.9. It matches. I installed it correctly. <laughs> it wasn't you can never be 100% sure whether you got those arrows correct. And I had to combine the wires and everything um, because this, like the solar analytics system, is the total production. So I'm now monitoring the total production so I can see it. When I walk outside, I can now see it on the LCD. I, I Basically, I'll never use this phone app. Um, I you know it's it's fairly pointless uh to me but anyway it, these angles change depending on the amount of um solar so you can see all of the solar is coming out of my um solar array. that that's actually a solar array there coming out of a solar array going into and my house is 100 percent powered and basically well nothing should be going out to the grid it should all be going into the car Come on, you saw it before. There was nothing going out of the grid. But this is like the residual re resolution of the thing and how fast the, char the car can respond to the solar output and, and stuff. But look, so it's going all in and it's going mostly into the car. The house is consuming only 400 watts at the moment. So Mrs. EV Blog's not doing much at home at the moment. She is home and uh, I can track her. She's, she's not doing much um, there at all. So yeah. Um, so that's, uh, you know, I've got no, oh, oh, this actually has graphs as well. So it's not just this, it, it, it actually has data as well, but I can't zoom, I'm not, I don't, doesn't seem like I can zoom that or anything like that. And then I can go yesterday and stuff like that. So this is all on the Zappy servers, um, all this data here. So yeah, I don't know. It's yet another monitoring system that I've actually got. Um, so <laughs> there you go. So that is uh, that is my latest um, system, but you can see that it matches uh, precisely my solar analytics system. So the solar analytics and the Zappy systems, they monitor the total production from the two solar installations that I've got, the old three kilowatt and the new uh, five kilowatt end phase. Speaking of the end phase, of course, I've got the end phase, um, because these are micro inverters, I get data out the wazoo, right, from um, <laughs> the end phase inverter. So this is like the last seven days here. Uh, you can see that uh, the blue is actually the uh, power uh, uh, produced uh, from the solar, just from the five kilowatt system. So the end phase system only monitors the end phase panels and the uh, PV output here um, only collects data from the old three kilowatt system. I used to have this um, when I first installed the uh, end phase um, system, as you probably saw in, in videos. I have it. I had it actually monitoring the total um, like output of both systems, and I had that for a couple of weeks or a month or something. I thought that's dumb because I've already got the solar analytics system doing that, and it's it, it does a really good job of doing like my entire. Uh, you know, both systems, my entire house, right? So I figured, no, the end phase should only be tracking the end phase stuff. So I rearranged the current transformers so that it only measures the end phase. And then I rearranged, I also had um, the PV output here actually supports end phase automatic data input. And I thought, oh, that's cool. Um, so that's why I was doing it with the end phase. I thought, oh, I could have PV output monitoring it all. Um, but then I found it was buggy as hell. Like it, like it would kind of sorta work, um, but then like it just it <laughs> it just wouldn't work at all. It was really I tried for weeks to try and fix that uh, problem, and it was just a pain in the ass. So I decided, well, I've already got my uh, you know seven eight years worth of data from here. Why suddenly change it to monitor the whole system? I'll I'll just keep exporting the bulk uploading the old three kilowatt uh, data. Uh, and so yeah, so I changed the I changed that and the end phase back to just m separate monitoring. So they're basically separate monitoring systems. If I need to monitor one system independently, I can do that. And if I want to measure the whole house um, consumption and production, then I've got the solar analytics uh, system here. And uh, in theory, yeah, I have the new Zappy um, thing. I'll show you that. There you go. Is that better? 
Z Z yeah, yeah, it's going to focus better. So I can get, so I can get the generation history and stuff like that. So that's all live. Uh, how does it go back? And then I can get the charge history. There you go. That's my car charging at the moment. There you go. That's pretty cool. And like, and I can change modes and stuff here, but. You know, <laughs> you can do that on, as I said, this app is, you know, it, it's kind of like, if you don't have another monitoring system, it's, it'll, it'll be good. But because like everyone who has a solar home solar system has some sort of monitoring solution, it's just, you know, um, <laughs> it's just what uh, comes with, whether you've got Enphase or some other, you know, SMA, um, Sunny Boy thing, and you can get different apps. All the manufacturers have all their own different things. So yeah, so I can monitor, all those I can monitor my house consumption. There you go. That's house consumption. You can actually see the, you can see some fine resolution there, on the oscillations for the uh, fridge, fridge compressors turning off and on. I presume that is, and uh, yeah. So that's the house consumption today. There's something early in the morning. Mrs. E V blog was doing something. Oh, I wouldn't have been up that early. Uh, screw that. <laughs> so yeah. So there you go. So that's that's interesting. Uh, can I get a graph of overall grid not in use? Can I? That's a grid not in use screen. Oh, that. So no. So that's a house screen. Focus, you bastard. Yep. That's a house screen. Can uh, performance history. There you go. And you can see it go negative. When you're exporting right so exported energy 2.5 kilowatts there and stuff like that but now we're using all that energy we're consuming it all because i've got the car plugged in in eco plus plus mode and it's we're using a hundred percent of that power is going into the car and you can see how it tracks over here yeah you can see how it tracks here it just tracks brilliantly it's it's really nice. The solar panels are producing five kilowatts, and my house plus the EV is consuming the basically the same within the error within the measurement error and the tracking error and stuff like that. So that's really impressive, huh? So yeah, there you go. That's why and how I've ended up with four monitoring systems like ideally like if you're installing a system from scratch um yeah like I, ideally i would do away with if i was gonna you know if i was going to upgrade it like uh, i don't see the point in keeping pv output and the sunny boy inverter and stuff if i was to upgrade the system i would uh put the end phase micro inverters on the old three kilowatt panels but from a cost point of view there's no point because they're expensive what are they 150 bucks per micro inverter that's more than the cost of the panels um especially the old 250 watt uh panels so there's no point so um i simply continue to reuse the old three kilowatt um system here and actually uh just dump the data with the app which i can probably show you which which app is it um oxley here it is hang on just for completeness Oh no, no, it's not gonna. No, it's not gonna connect because um, there's no Bluetoothy. Anyway, it's um, Oxley uh, Solar. It's called Oxley Solar, and uh, yeah, it just um, it connects via. Yeah, oh, maybe can I do yesterday? No. Anyway, it's an Oxley Solar app, and I've just got a. Um, uh, there's just like a single uh, upload on the. You know, hide that whatever else is on my phone um yeah that's um there's a little app in the top corner there like i i just hit that once every week or something like that and it just automatically um downloads the data via my from the sma sunny boy inverter and dumps it to pv output um it's really easy and i can get the last 60 days worth of data i can upload 60 days worth of data because i've got the premium account paid account on pv output but there you go. Um, so yeah, that monitors the old three kilowatt. Enphase monitors the new uh, five kilowatt microinverter system. You can see uh, we obviously plugged in the EV here 
we were either desperate to plug it in or we were just testing, running tests or whatever um, on uh, fast mode. So <laughs> our house would not normally consume <laughs> nine kilowatts, as you can see here, right? Our house is like taking like four for like, you know, because we're not really using the air cons at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, we're, we're not using much at all. Um, the orange curve there. But yeah, when you plug the, because the new Zappy charger is capable of seven kilowatt charging, yeah, boom and boom. But most of the time, we won't ever have to do that. We'll just follow it like we're doing at the moment, which is really cool. So if I refresh that, we'll get, yeah, <laughs> the sun's obviously dropped back down and the charge rate of the EVs dropped back down. But there you go. That's cool. That's how I've ended up with <laughs> and why I'm using four <laughs> analytics systems for my, so for my home solar. It's just the way it's happened over the years. It's a hodgepodge. Um, system. If you were doing this from scratch, you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't have four systems like this. It's just nuts. But each one has its purpose. I can individually monitor the separate systems, and then I've got two for monitoring the combined. But like I said, like I should never have to use this um, Zappy app. In fact, I don't need that hub at all. I, like it's my, it's gathering the data. I guess I might as well hook it up. It's only taking like a watt or something from the lug pack a couple of watts or something so i guess i might as well just i've already got it hooked up but yeah i don't really need it because i've already got all these other systems but there you go can anyone else beat four <laughs> solar monitoring systems <laughs> i reckon i'm the only sick puppy who's got four of them <laughs> to monitor two different systems but, but ultimately like the one i use most is solar analytics here like the end phase will give you data out to the wazoo like i can get like the individual inverters and stuff in fact, I don't use it that often. Uh, no, what is it? Uh, full system devices. Here you go. I can go into the um, actual micro inverters themselves. So I can go into this micro inverter here and current power 20 watts. Um, here we go. So this is, you know, this is mapping to my roof. And can I, yeah, I can get the data from that. So here's the average real power. This is from just that. Uh, just that inverter, so a single inverter from a single panel, like that. Um, energy, power, today. So th this is today's, and I can get uh, the AC voltage. There you go. <laughs> AC voltage, 247, 248, right? Because it gets very high when it goes out. Uh, you know, D DC current, I can get the DC voltage um, uh, from, from the panel. There you go, 32.7 volts. From the panel this is just that one panel going into that one micro inverter and yeah average real power ac frequency and temperature as well you can see the temperature up there what is it uh, seven fahrenheit oh uh, is there a way to change that to celsius anyway don't know what that is it's bloody yanks bloody fahrenheit rubbish um but yeah i can get the individual temperature you can see it warming up as the day uh as the sun came out and warmed up but there you go like i can get data out the wazoo from that system but mostly i kind of want to know what just what is the total power i'm outputting and now i can actually see that on the lcd on my zappy when i go out and uh, you know hop in the car there it is it's on the lcd i don't have to look at um any of the apps which i generally don't look at on a daily basis but it's good to know that all that data's there so there you go <laughs> for solar monitoring systems <laughs> it's a sickness catch you next time